Power 92. We are number one in the streets. Hey, you rocking and vibing with your girl, Bree Specific. And on my line right now, I have two representatives of Charles, a.k.a. Duke Tanner. So we have Amy Pova and Troy Bly, who are representatives of Mr. Tanner. He is an undefeated light heavyweight champion, a national champion, actually. And um, thank you guys for calling in to talk to us a little bit about what he has going on as far as granting clemency from President Trump. So my first question is, can you just tell us a little bit about why he's incarcerated and seeking clemency right now? Um, yes. Uh, Troy, do you want to take that one first? Okay. Um, well, I, I, can, I can start that one out. Well, first of all, uh, I'll give you a little bit of background about uh, Charles Duke Tatter. Uh, he's uh, back in uh, 2004. Uh, he was 19 and 0, undefeated champion, uh, fighting nationally on TV. Uh, when he was uh, arrested on his first offense, nonviolent offense, uh, he was arrested uh, and charged with conspiracy to distribute cocaine. He was sentenced to double life in prison. So since then, he lost everything, and from there, we have been fighting nonstop to get him home. Uh, it's been almost 14 years now. His son was actually only two years old when he was arrested. Now his son is 16 years old, and so we're doing everything we can to get him home to his family, along with also getting back in the ring to be able to uh, continue his career and just to be able to have a fresh start and a second chance at life to be able to help inspire and motivate others not to make those same mistakes. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about the process of um, making him a free man? Right, well, that's where I come in. I started the Can Do Foundation, which stands for Clemency for All Nonviolent Drug Offenders. I started in 2000 after I received clemency from President Clinton. Clemency, executive clemency at the federal level can only be granted by the President of the United States. It's different from people who are serving time in state who receive clemency from the governors. So Charles falls into that category. His story came to me after Alice Marie Johnson was set free. Some people may remember Kim Kardashian got involved in that case. Alice right. was number one on my top 25. I also have a top 25 men which Charles is on, and his case is just extraordinary to me because, like Alice, he's a first offender. This was his first offense. He had never been in trouble with the law before, and I'm in a unique position where I can get the petition over to the White House, and uh, we submitted his case on November 9th. It's pending, which means it's under review. And Charles Tanner, he just has all of the elements to me that make him a perfect candidate. He has done uh, so much while in prison to help mentor other men. He's his son, who it was two years old when he went to prison, is advocating for his father and has done a video. We have a change.org petition that over 80,000 people have signed. And he has a long list of achievements that he had uh, done while he was incarcerated. He has an exemplary conduct. So this is a man who, because of the 80s, a judge could not um, decide on mitigating factors, such as him having a career in boxing. They just, their hands were tied, which is why he got double life due to mm -hmm. conspiracy law. So he, he really, if he were sentenced today, he would get less time than when he was sentenced back during the Dreamtonian uh, era. Okay. Okay, so given that he was denied clemency by um, President Obama, what makes you guys hopeful that he will be granted clemency during Trump's term? Uh, well, I believe that we, 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 we structure things and you know, we built a team around it. Uh, before, I think anything, when you're trying to fight for freedom, you have to have a strong team. Wait, one moment, you. guys. One moment. I think both of you guys are talking at the same time. Oh, go ahead, Troy. Uh, like I was saying before, I think now uh, Duke has a stronger team uh, uh, surrounded around him. Uh, before, you know, we didn't have someone like Amy on our side, and, mm -hmm. and she is one of the best in the business. She's fighting every day in her organization can do. 
is is, is fighting hard to, to bring multiple people home. So we didn't have you know a strong enough team around us. Now uh, we regrouped, and it's a different story now. And and from there we have over eighty thousand signatures, and this thing just picked up. We have a lot of momentum, and things have changed now. More inmates are starting to come home. So laws are changing. So we just continue to fight, and we know that we have a legit chance, and, and we know that he, he's going to come home. Okay. And my last question is, so we've seen um, earlier this week that Centoya Brown, she has actually been, been granted clemency as well. So um, if granted clemency with Duke, what would be the next step for people like him? Um, well, so... So if he gets out, uh, he'll actually be returning. But besides returning back to his family, and mm-hmm. you know, being a positive, uh, you know, positive role model in the community, he's actually training right now to get back in the ring to fight. So I'm his manager. I actually represent uh, uh, Duke also, and yep, we have we're working on fights and different things like that lined up. So he will have a successful career once he gets a second chance from the president. So he will be a a great person in the community. He definitely wants to go back. We, he's from Gary, Indiana. Um, and we really want to go back to the city and do, you know, speak to the kids. Just try to be a precautionary tale. And what we're looking at right now is possibly one of the greatest sports comeback stories of all time. This has never happened before. No one's ever went 14 years and then been able to get out of prison and compete on a, a high level the way that Duke's getting ready to do. So we get ready to shock the world on a lot of different levels. Okay. And also, this is going to be a huge platform for more people to come home, and especially with Amy and um, her organization, Can Do. Okay, well, much love to you all for calling in and giving us a little rundown on Duke's situation. We are sending positive vibes, all great wishes to him and his family. Um, much love to you too, Amy, and the Can Do Foundation is really, really oh, dope. Yeah. One, Can I one last thing, one I literally point. just got off the phone with Duke right before we called. He wanted me to tell you and tell all of Chicago land. He is so thankful for all the prayers. He's going to continue to fight. He won't let you down. And Duke's favorite slogan was, they got now, but Duke got next. We got you. so you. much, and we appreciate everything and this opportunity. No problem. Thank you guys for calling in. All right, bless Thank us. you. Thank you.